I think that the main lesson about management debt is uh, that it builds up over time and can create serious problems if it's ignored. Um, and that's the reason why it's essential to maintain awareness and have a monitoring system in place. Uh, what's also important is that is uh, that we need to plan for reducing this debt with time and uh, be cautious about accumulating new debt in the decisions that we make. Um, it's not just a managerial concern, it's more of an organizational one. Daniel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before we get started here, can you just tell us a little bit about who you are and who you work for, please? Sure. So I'm Daniel, Director of Engineering at Lemonade, a tech company doing insurance. I currently lead the car insurance product line with engineering teams in Tel Aviv, Amsterdam, and New York. I also co-founded and lead a community of over 1,100 engineering managers in Israel called Engineering Managers AL. Amazing. And um, later on this year, you're going to be joining us in Berlin at Leading Eng, our event for senior engineering leaders. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about there? Definitely. So I'll be diving into the concept of management debt, a term that might not be as familiar as tech debt, but is just as crucial. I'll explore what it is, how it accumulates. I'll attempt to break it down into types. And most importantly, I'll suggest a framework to manage and monitor it. Yeah, and I think, you know, as you said, many people will be familiar with the idea of technical debt and the way it accumulates at an organization, but not so much management debt. Where did you come across this concept and, and how have you been building out your knowledge of the idea of management debt? So I first encountered the term management debt around 10 years ago when I did my first steps into engineering management. Um, and at the time, it was uh, fascinating to me, but it wasn't that practical. Like, I didn't really feel it in my day to day. Uh, a few years back, when I entered the role of uh, director of engineering and started managing managers, I uh, started to notice how some of my day to day issues kind of fall into uh, the, the that definition of management debt. And at that point, I uh, returned to that blog post and uh, tried to also create. Um, a practical framework for myself to uh, manage uh, those challenges. And during that time, you know, you've gone away, you've learned more about this, you've built a framework. What's one of the biggest lessons you've learned about stopping that management debt from accumulating over time? I think that the main lesson about management debt is uh, that it builds up over time and can create serious problems if it's ignored. Um, and that's the reason why it's essential to maintain awareness and have a monitoring system in place. Uh, what's also important is, that, is uh, that we need to plan for reducing this debt with time and uh, be cautious about accumulating new debt in the decisions that we make. Um, it's not just a managerial concern, it's more of an organizational one. Yeah, and, and, and could you tell me a little bit more about why this is an organizational concern? Many of the decisions uh, that we make, or maybe uh, debt that we've inherited, can affect the people uh, on our teams. Um, let's take our engineering managers. Their uh, delivery uh, also impacts uh, people over at uh, marketing or uh, sales and other uh, organizations. And if they have a serious delivery uh, problem that we kind of ignore uh, and their teams can't execute um, and be very um, efficient, then that's, that's an issue that can be organizational and not just um, between myself and my uh, direct report who is managing the team. There are obviously other uh, examples here, but uh, I'll give uh, them during the talk. Let's fast forward a little bit here to when you've delivered your talk, you've come down off the stage. What do you hope the audience take away? I hope the audience walks away with a solid understanding of what management debt is um, and the impact that it could have on the organization. I'll offer actionable uh, tools, including the structured uh, framework for tackling and mitigating this debt that the audience can implement in their organizations. Also, uh, beyond the practical aspects, I, uh, I want to instill a mindset that prioritizes 
the management of this debt as part of an organizational culture. Well, I'm really looking forward to that. You've already spoken at one of our lead dev events in the past, but you've never spoken at Leading Eng before. What made you want to share this story with this audience in particular? So first, I want to say that I'm really excited to be in Leading Eng. Uh, I wanted it for I wanted to be part of it for uh, a few years now. I think the audience uh, at Leading Eng is really a good fit for this topic. It's comprised of uh, mostly of senior engineering leaders and managers of managers. And these are the folks who often find themselves on the front line of issues like management debt. This talk um, aims not to only shed light on this kind of overlooked issue, but also to offer a practical framework for tackling it. 